Welcome back, everyone. Well, the planets are lining up for this interview. And the reason I'm saying that is that recently we've been doing, uh, giving you information about Solarize Saratoga, where they're putting in all of these solar panels in Saratoga. And lo and behold, we found out that a very interesting yoga studio is on the top floor of one of these buildings, constantly giving salutations <laughs> to the sun. So we decided to do two things. One was bring that person in, and two, give you a sort of a briefer on yoga, because we hear so much about it. So joining me today is Karen Score. Hello, Karen. Hi, I'm happy to be here. Thank Good. you. Uh, you're the owner of Yoga Mandalay. Yes. That's great. Mandalay meaning friends? It, it means circle of friends. Circle of friends, yep. right, mm -hmm. got it, okay. Um, you hear so much about yoga. Yes. It's, a lot of people think they know what it's about. Some people think it's a fitness regimen. Some think it's, some think it's a sport. Mm -hmm. What is it? Um, yoga is actually a 5,000 year old tradition. It began in India. Um, and it's, it's becoming more popular in the West, but it's, it's taken on, it's becoming trendy in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. um, we keep our studio in alignment with the 5,000 year old traditions of yoga. Um, we don't want anybody to, to be turned away thinking that, you know, the myth is, oh, I have to be flexible to take a yoga class, which is not true at all. Um, and we invite people to come and see that for themselves. So in other words, you don't have to be able to stand on your head with your pinky? Absolutely oh, not. Right, okay, good, <laughs> thanks. Maybe I got a shot then, okay? <laughs> Absolutely not. Um, the fundamentals of yoga, you know, you're talking about something that has a 5,000 year tradition. Obviously it works. Mm -hmm. uh, someone calls you out of the blue. Uh, they probably have certain concerns, whether or not they can do certain things or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, Tell me about that. Well, the thing that I have found in running this studio and being involved with it for about 12 years is that most people, you get very few people who come to your door saying, I'm looking for a new exercise routine. Very few. What most people are looking for when they come to start a yoga practice is they want something different in their lives. Something is not working out for them. They know they need a change. Um, they're going through something personal, usually. Yeah and they've heard that yoga is good for you. So, um, now, in what, also, way, in what way good for you? Um, well, the main thing about yoga is um, Patanjali's Yoga Sutras going 5,000 year years back. Um, one of the main questions in the second verse is asked of Patanjali, what is yoga? And Patanjali answers by saying yoga is Chitta Vritti Narodaha which translated from Sanskrit means yoga is the cessation of the fluctuations of the mind. Well, I'm glad you quiet, translated that, okay. <laughs> To quiet the mind, you know, to stop all that chatter that yes. we have going on in our heads all the time and bring, us, bring in a sense of peace and quiet and relaxation, which is something very difficult to do in our society today when we're bombarded by so many things. Mm -hmm. So if you came to a yoga class for an hour or 90 minutes, you just walk out feeling so much better because you've had that time of maybe just like a few seconds at a time of just nothing in mm -hmm. your head, none of that chatter going mm -hmm. on. And it just makes you feel so much better. Boy, then you, no, no surprise in that, mm -hmm. that five-year-old tradition applies mm -hmm. throughout humanity and today especially. You mm -hmm. know, we live in this technological age today where it's all data, it's short attention span theater, right. you know, and there's a lot of chatter mm -hmm. going on. And here's an opportunity, almost in a way, to, to shut the off. world off, mm -hmm. right? Right. Boy, got to, I don't think anybody, I, <laughs> I think everybody I know could, be, could benefit from yeah. that. Uh, you've got a wonderful studio. I know about your studio. Uh, you mentioned that you've been involved for 12 years. Uh, you've got, uh, like I said, a wonderful reputation. Thank you. Um, and not all yoga studios are created equal. You're right. There is a fad about this, and you know, but the true essence of yoga seems to be the center of why you operate. Mm -hmm. um, why did you get involved? I actually originally started to take my first yoga classes probably about 20 years ago um, because I had a very serious infection that I had developed in a hospital having a surgery. It was one of those hospital infections and it could have been deadly. So I ended up having to be on IV antibiotics for six months mm -hmm. and wow. plus another one orally 
And so the combination of the infection and the antibiotics was, was really harming me. Um, and I had come to the point where this isn't working and I need to find a way to fix myself. And so I started taking yoga classes actually with Judy Weil in the arcade building on Broadway and it was a it started to change my life and then I just realized that this is the direction I have to keep going in so you know then I just started taking more and more yoga classes at the time um, Saratoga yoga opened and they changed the name to urban yoga on mm -hmm. Phyla Street mm -hmm. and I started going there and actually a lot of the teachers that we have at our studio now a lot of our students all started out there too so and now your studio is located right downtown Saratoga uh, on the top floor right so you get floor, this sort yep. of unrestricted connection to the universe yeah, and the for, sky yeah. so whether it's sun salutations or as you were telling me before moon salutations you, mm. you sort of like connecting to the universe here yeah. I love that you know uh, just in the time we have left I want to just cycle back on something I think is so important about this the pressures that we feel in everyday life uh, really can tend to just, they can harm you, they can infect you, mm -hmm. right? right? You know, to, if you go to, the, go to the extremes. And there's so many points of differentiation between Western medicine and Eastern medicine. And the idea that if you can find a yoga studio, a teacher, mm -hmm. instructor, to be able to walk you through the process. You don't have to walk in and know that you're a gymnast. You can walk in and maybe not even be able to touch your toes, right? No, you don't have but to. it's for everyone. Mm -hmm. And the opportunity there is to shut the world off and move into a different space and time. Mm -hmm. Boy, what a wonderful thing. Well, Karen, you know, it was funny. I said the planets lined up here. You're sitting in a <laughs> yoga studio with solar panels now. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, so I just, uh, that was nice you came in. Thank you. Thank and you. It gives our viewers an opportunity to know more about yoga. And, Thank you. All right, have a wonderful it. holiday. You too. Thank it's you. Nice to have you. Thanks. Thank you. To see this interview again, you can head to our website, looktvonline.com.